Welcome to Hollywood. Prepare to attack. All right, here we are on Hollywood. This is a hybrid map, basically just capture point into payload. It is the first game in a best of three series between two very skilled NA teams, Colorado Clutch and Gale Force Esports. Let me just make sure I've got everybody on the correct sides. Looks like that is the case. Gale Force Esports will be starting out on defense with that Symmetra. So important. Okay. Let's see where Hots for Shots chooses to place his Symmetra turrets. Uh, it is very natural for her to get speed boosted out by Thank Lucio. You. Actually, in previous days, uh, you'd actually go multiple Lucios just to speed boost her out, but this is set to one hero limit, so you actually cannot <laughs> do the super speed boost anymore. Symmetra choosing some crafty spots for these turrets. Keep these in mind. They can be difficult to take out. Usually you'll see some between these bushes here as well. Yeah. Can be hard to target them, but they still work on proximity. I actually would advise not placing them this close together, as when one explodes, it does cause a chain reaction to others around it. However, if you can't hit either of them, then they're both still relatively safe. But yeah, here, even if he hits, if even if the top turret goes down, it'll explode all three of those. So, not not the most efficient, um, but it is a lot of damage for someone who walks into it unwillingly or unknowingly, I should say. So, doors are open now. Clutches out on the offense. Okay. Watching uh, Symmetra here just to basically get a glimpse of if she's going to be able to get that teleporter up in time to help defend. It's always just good to watch for survivability's sake and see how Symmetra stays alive up to that 100%. Basically it just comes down to lobbing orbs, but Harblue going to come in here as Roadhog and actually stop that completely. Harblue is a great Roadhog to watch. He is actually one of the scariest ones that I've had the pleasure of watching. Hooks go out at the same time. Harblue actually gets the uh, winning end of it though. Yanks Hamsword toward him. Oh man, that time Hamsword gets the better of him. But the counter hook into ultimate, immediately targeting the Mercy. Harbu is lucky that he had such a great target available and gets to bounce Reaper off and the hook kill. Look at this, Harbu just going off. Gale Force Esports running in here and immediately getting the first tick here on A. Looks like it's just a matter of time before they get the second tick and eventually the full cap as well as Calvin goes down. It is one minute and about 18 seconds. One minute, 18 seconds to get that cap on A and that does matter. I did not have any dropped frames on my end, so hopefully... Uh, it was actually probably just me starting the local record, so let me know if it's still bad. Should be okay by now. Hard blue moving forward now does have Mercy available with him to keep him damage boosted or healed as appropriate, but actually switching over to Pharah. Ooh, immediately gets the hook on Mercy, and the fact that he's booped off actually dragged Mercy off the ledge, but of course she can just fly back up to her uh, teammate there. Immediate grab onto Reaper, but there is time for him to Wraith walk away. Gets a kill on Louie. Fire it will. I've got you on my sights. Die, die, die. Okay, so Louis on the defense actually just got a great death blossom, but he is going to fall ultimately to Nicholas TJO, the attacking Farah. Here comes a res for the offense, actually picking everybody up, especially with that sound barrier. It means that they're going to have a great time moving forward here. I'm going to go ahead and watch Torque TJO on that Zarya. Providing barriers and just stomping through here. They easily got checkpoint B, and the last stretch was no different. Soldier trying to get in here and contest, but a time is going to be set here for Gale Force Esports. Apologies for breaking up the stream there. We had a little bit of uh, frame issues, but it, actually everything looks pretty good now. Even better, perhaps, than before. <laughs> so, let's see this play of the game here from Harblue. Most likely, that Roadhog ult on point A. Hey, 
Okay, so the time set is 4 minutes and 8 seconds. I'll go ahead and get that timer ready as we fix up the overlay. And switch these names around. It's going to be Gale Force Esports on the attack and Colorado Clutch on the defense. That is a blazing fast time here for Hollywood, so it's going to be pretty difficult. Okay, now that we have switched sides, we can see on the defense, Harblue actually going for Reaper rather than the Roadhog. Roadhog is actually a pretty common defender, so I'm a little surprised to see him switching off. Nicholas TJO is going to be playing that Junkrat, a nice blue Junkrat. I believe that skin is called Drowned <laughs> for the blue tint. Punching railings down, making sure that no accidental railing hits happen. If you guys don't know, the reason for that basically is, let's imagine you're playing Widowmaker, and you lined up a headshot on Mercy, but suddenly she walks behind a railing. If you click, suddenly you've done zero damage to Mercy, you hit the railing instead, and that does not feel good ever, so you always just break all the railings as soon as you get out onto the map. Right, I'm ready to start this timer in about 9 seconds here when the gates open. Colorado Clutch has very little time to complete the map. Gale Force Esports pretty much just breezing through. See what I did there? Gale Force. Alright, timer is started. And the gates are open. I'm going to go ahead and spectate Louie, I think, on the side of the offense. Playing that Farah. So far, nothing too crazy happening. No uh, super rush tactic or anything like that. They do need to obviously not wait around too long with uh, as little time as they are allowed to actually complete the map. Taking a few shots down at the Reinhardt, but they really need to pick a route. Here's actually a three tank composition coming out for the offense to support and Farah, the only real damage dealer. Lumberjack is, of course, providing the damage amp to the single damage dealer. Looking for that Mercy in the back. Actually looking for Soldier as probably the, one of the top damage threats, but Joe Meister and Torque do combine for that Farah kill. Shake was taken out, but uh, already getting lower and lower on time. Only 3 minutes, 8 seconds remaining to get everything going there. Bounce off the wall to get back into the fight quicker. I'm going to watch Torque now as he does have his visor available on the defense here for Gale Force. Easily able to take out Louie. Oh, if he didn't get hooked by Hamsword. Hamsword, with the clutch save, actually keeps Louie alive and does get the kill on Twerk. So uh, Colorado Clutch looking good here, actually able to take point A. However, they only have about two and a half minutes to push this payload all the way from start to finish. Uh, they were only about 10, 15 seconds slower than Gale Force Esports, but the fact that they breeze through so easily in the second and third stretches it's going to make it pretty tough. I need to stop saying breezing through now. It's kind of like force of habit now that Gale Force is on the mine. Alright, I'm actually going to take Harblue's POV once again as that Roadhog. He has switched off of Reaper now. Try and get those juicy hooks. Hook combos and instant kill on many, many characters. So as long as he stays accurate like that, look at that amazing jump hook combo immediately getting the kill on Mercy. Really could have been the Farah, could have been the Mercy, but grab the right target. Easily done there. And actually sneaking up on the front line here. Uh, looked like he wanted to get a, a free hook on a Squishy, but didn't really have the right opportunity with both tanks there. Ends up getting the kill on WGB anyway. Hamsword now taking fire. Oh, and the Roadhuggle launches him into space. Lumberjack immediately turned towards Calvin on the offense, actually, playing uh, Widowmaker. 
Not sure what he's going to be able to get done there. Louis does drop a barrage and gets kills on Joe Meister, Shake, JKW now falls as well, but only a minute 20 left to try and complete the entire map here. Oh, excellent headshot on Twerk. That'll buy him some room. However, Louis... Sorry, Nicholas TJO. I just assumed it was Louis because he was the only one playing Reaper so well last match. Nicholas running forward, getting a kill there on Calvin as well. Payload's almost to the next checkpoint. Hamsword popping his whole hog ultimate to keep people off of the payload. There's an Earth Shatter coming out from WGB as well. The attacking side. Twerk kind of the only defender still on the point. But there's a huge res bringing back five members. Shake, easy play of the game candidate there. Bring back five members. Sound Barrier goes out as well. You can see the Earth Shatter there from the defense this time. Catching a couple members of the attacking team. Hamsword and WGB. Gonna be probably be falling here, yeah, shortly. <laughs> Another Earth Shatter actually came out there from a WGB. That was two Earth Shatters in one fight. But the payload has been reclaimed. Only 26 seconds left. Nicholas and company. Nicholas actually throwing out the GG before Kale Force. Or sorry, excuse me, before uh, Clutch. But that is going to be pretty much it. We can lobby. Um, so yeah, time is going to tick down here. Only 10 seconds left. So that is game number one headed towards Gale Force Esports.